Arguments on either side of a new education bill grew louder today. But ultimately, the bill passed the full Senate with a vote of 29 to 6. The bill causing the controversy deals with transgender issues, pronouns, and communication with parents. Evening Edition's Megan Mannering breaks down Senate Bill 150 and the outcome of the vote. Senate Bill 150 passed through the full Senate with a vote of 29 to 6 Thursday afternoon. But opponents fought it until the final hour. It will make life worse for students in our commonwealth. The bill doesn't require teachers to call students by their preferred pronouns. And LGBTQ advocates fear the repercussions will be deadly, as trans kids already have higher rates of depression and suicide. The suicide rates are outrageous. You know it. You seem to not care. Not a one of you have talked about it. What is the intent of this bill? What is the point? The point, according to the bill's sponsor, Senator Max Wise, is to uphold the First Amendment by allowing teachers the choice of whether to use a student's non-conforming pronoun. He also highlights the bill's benefits to parents. Some of the technical changes Wise made to the bill on Thursday include narrowing the focus for schools providing information to parents about services related to sexuality and contraception. Parent consent would be given before any well-being assessment for a student, and teachers and school employees would still have the duty to report neglect or abuse of a student. This is about, once again, parental communication. And even today, I spoke in the rotunda as related to empowering parents, having parental rights, and for them to have communication. Senate Bill 150 now moves to the full House, with opposition only expected to grow. This is legalized bullying. In Frankfurt, Megan Mannering, LEX 18 News.